Hi guys, my name is May and welcome to the video. Today, I'm going to teach you all about the graph of a function. First, I'm going to teach you some mathematical symbols and abbreviations. Two, I'm going to teach you or give you some insights of our topic for today about the graph of a function. And three, I'm going to give you some steps how to solve a function. And the last one, number four, I'm going to teach you how to graph a function. Don't worry, I promise you, this will be easy. But first, I'm going to teach you how to read some of the mathematical symbols and abbreviations we'll be going to use in the equations. For example, how to read this. This is read as f of x. How about this symbol? This is read as less than. How about this symbol? This is read as greater than. How about this symbol? This is read as less than or equal to. How about this symbol? This is read as greater than or equal to. How about this symbol? This is read as parenthesis. Then last one, how about this symbol? This is read as braces. Now that you know how to read the mathematical symbols, I'm going to give you some insights of our topic for today. An adequate number of ordered pairs is needed to graph a function. Sa pag-graph sa function, pareha na sa mga lalaki, di pwedeng isa dapat daghan. Hey! These points are plotted in a coordinate plane. When can we say that the graph is a function and not a function? Hmm. This is an example of a function. Well, this one, this is an example of not a function. Mabuti pa yung function nagmimit. Eh kami, kailan kaya kami mimit? For today, let's begin solving. For example, how to solve this? Here's a step for you. Step 1. Find the possible value of x. The possible value of x are negative 5, negative 6, and negative 7. Step 2. Let's substitute. So our first possible value of x is negative 5 x equals negative 5, y equals x plus 4, y equals negative 5 plus 4. We substitute x to negative 5. So our answer is y equals negative 1 because in the rules of integers, when we add negative to positive, we subtract it and copy the sign of the bigger number. So our ordered pair is negative 5 and negative 1. Always remember that x is always comes first than y. x is our domain and y is our range. Second possible value of x. x equals negative 6. y equals x plus 4. y equals negative 6 plus 4. We substitute x to negative 6. y equals negative 2. Because in the rules of integers, when we add negative to positive, we subtract it and copy the sign of the bigger number. So, our answer is negative 2. And our ordered pair is negative 6, which is the domain, and negative 2, which is the range. The third possible value of x is negative 7. x equals negative 7. y equals x plus 4 y equals negative 7 plus 4. We substitute x to negative 7. y equals negative 3. 
because in the rules of integers, when we add negative to positive, we subtract it and copy the sign of the bigger number. So, our answer is negative 3. And our ordered pair is negative 7, which is the domain, and negative 3, which is the ranged. Remember that you can make as much as possible number value of x, but in our equation, we only give at least 3 possible value of x. Step 3. Now that you know how to solve an equation, let's graph. Step 1 in graphing. Draw a coordinate grids. Step 2. Plot the ordered pairs. Step 3. Connect the dots. Step 4. Put an arrow. This means infinity. Then, let's try another example. I know you can make it. That's it for today's video guys if you like this video please give it a like and please do comment down below and please 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 do subscribe to my youtube channel for more videos to come so again this is may signing out alam nyo kagandahan ko parang math bakit eh kasi nakakatulala <laughs>